Hey there, here's a quick video to show the latest development on the text engine using the distance field shader that you provided. So first thing that I did is create a custom GUI uh, panel for the user interface. Uh, the issue that I had with the previous one is I could only enter like one line of text and eventually it started to scroll which kind of sucked because it made it hard. So now I've got a full uh, text box where I can enter multiple lines of text with you know uh, HTML tags so it's a lot cleaner. The other thing is just reorganize the font settings where now I can select the it was always there but it's just a little bit cleaner now where I can pick the XML file, the font material that's being used, the font size, the character spacing, uh, the line length which is before it hits the carriage return line spacing between the different lines, then the justification of the lines, and then the center or, or wherever the anchor is being positioned. Um, right now it's running, so you can see what the output is. Um, that's not the full output, that's just the editor itself. Um, the tags, uh, the thing I was going to say is I also changed the way that I'm parsing through uh, the HML, HTML tags. So now I still use the standard, you know, slash color equal red, for example, or something else, and the slash color to end it. But I also added support for the hexadecimal um, color code, which works nice. I also have like the B for uh, bold and underline and italic. So it supports it in the parsing, but it's not implemented in terms of doing bold text and whatever else. Um, the font size, whatever, that still all works, so I can rechange uh, change that in real time. Uh, the line space, the character spacing, obviously that still works. Um, reset that to zero, put that back to 36. Um, the line length is not implemented, line spacing is not there yet, and so is the justification. In terms of the color codes and all that, uh, some interesting things to look at is if I enter a code and you can see it here um, this is supposed to be pink and if I zoom out it's ultimately pink but when I zoom in it's actually adding the color just on the inside edge and I'm not too sure why it's doing that like with full solid colors it's fine but if it's not a full color um, meaning if it's not like 255 or whatever it's like it's also scaling the value of the color as we zoom in and out so that's something for you to think about and, and figure out why it's actually doing that um, but what's weird is if I change the value like if I go down to um, F2 now the pink covers more of the inside if I go to F1 it's even more if I zoom out you know now it's fully solid it actually can turn red at a pretty far distance but, you know, it's kind of kind of weird. It's like a double border. So anyway, um, that's where I'm at with this thing. And the next thing I need to implement, and actually, before I move on, if you look at the yellow, you can actually see it on the inside of the letters. Um, so anyway, so the next thing I need to do, uh, I guess, oops, I'm forgetting something else again. Um, when you edit the character, like the X value, if you enter like an invalid uh, color, it goes back to the default color which in this case is white and then once you enter like a valid value then it basically puts it in um, which is fine uh, it does the same thing you know I can edit text in real time like I'm deleting the word text putting it back so all that stuff is working which is pretty nice nice so what's next after I fix the line length and justification and all that is to go back to allowing the user to click in the output window like here and put the cursor and ed, you know, edit the string itself in real time. Uh, I've already got most of that code, but that's the last part that I'm going to have to do. Um, so right now I'm pretty happy. Everything works. So let me know what you think and if you have any feedback. Thanks. Talk to you later.